Welcome back to Redbeard RPG and Pillars of Eternity, and we're talking to Modred. The anima an animator scribbles feverishly on a parchment scroll while his free hand dances through the air, counting off unseen objects. His lips move in silent disclosure. As your shadow falls over a scroll, he looks up with you with mingled perplex perplexity and irritation. Well met, friend. Can I help you? Uh, what you working on, bud? My area of focus is witch, more specifically how to cure them. What's a witch? A hollowborn who's received a transplanted animal soul during infancy. One of Ant Animancy's early efforts to cure the legacy, if not, if not a successful one. They show signs of de developmental abnormalities throughout their childhood, but when they reach adolescence, they become aggressive, feral, but still, but still victims in need of care. Transplanting animal souls onto children seems like an odd solution. It sure does. We, uh, Animancers, were trying to do something about the crisis, better than letting it swallow a whole generation of children. He stares at a fixed part of the wall far off, and despite the controversy, it only went so far at first. It seemed to work. People called it the salvation. Children had, that had never been responsive to any kind of stimuli suddenly seemed aware of their surroundings and of their families. The complications don't begin until puberty. That's when... <clears throat> but that's when the incompatibilities between body and soul take shape. Children become violent, ravenous. We paid dearly for our mistake, I promise you. Angry mobs hunted us, hunted down animancers and burned down their homes. With them still inside, often as not. People took to calling it the cruel salvation, and many still loathe us for it, but we wanted to stop the legacy as much as anyone. The public begged for our help. We did the best he could. I still don't know if that absolves us. Why do you study witch? What kind of question is that? Just think of all the families that could be healed, the lives that could be restored. What could be more important? Animancy has the answer here. I know it. I simply a matter of working it out. I see. Good. He looks eager to return to his work. Uh, we already talked to the expert on awakenings. Let's see what he has to say. Valvian? Yeah, yeah, I think that's who I just talked to. Then be quick about it. Don't touch anything. Has a lax visitor policy, but I don't. Without another word, he resumes his work. So is this is this like the chambers of all the the like specialists of animancers, or what, what? What am I looking at here? Edges of the cage are dented and scored with claw marks. Good grief! What is this little fella? Little kitty, it looks like. Okay, we need a proper key. Sometimes we get people in here trying to make trouble. I don't mind being better armed if it makes our clients a little nervous. Okay, we don't doesn't seem like we're allowed in here or here. Likely we'll either have to befriend somebody or steal a key on that one. But on that note, I think we found everything this building has to offer. We gained a ton of XP for talking to the uh, uh, Awakening Expert. And now we can gain a little more XP if we go back to, not Kirin, but the person who started the Knights of the Crucible quest. And they should be at the bar in, um, oh, what the heck is that town? Or that district in Defiance Bay. We'll find out here in a second. Uh, Copper Lane, that's where we wanna go. Or are they in the bar or the Adventurer's Guild? I think the back of the Adventurer's Guild. I think that's where we want to go. This up here, Expedition Hall, not Adventurer's Guild. Pretty sure this is where we need to go. I think we've... I want to finish looking around here, but I feel like we need to check out our Stronghold soon enough. 25% experience, swaddling sheet, 375 copper treasure. What is this? What the well holds? No companions of the stronghold. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're supposed to have a prestigious visitor there sometime. As well as, apparently, so... I guess if I have a follower I don't want in the party, I can leave them there. 
I don't even have that many followers at this point, so I don't I don't see why I would do that. I think this fellow's right back here I need to talk to about the breastplate ostrich. Is this the armor you wanted? Ostrich wavers a moment in disbelief. He looks at you and then back at the breastplate. He reaches for it slowly, as if expecting to disappear before he can touch it. How did you manage this? You were right about the affidavit. Unfortunately, Penhelm forced me into a fight. A shame it ended like that, but but he's the lying weasel who started this. You did all I asked and your own so much. He withdraws a leather coin purse from his pocket and puts it in your hands. Stop by Solid Shop on the other side. He sells some of the best gear in the city and see that he opens his inventory to you. Okay. What is this armor anyways? Uh, nothing really. Just a keepsake. Dang. 2,000 copper. Good chunk of experience. Heck yeah. It commemorates the Order of the Magran, the highest order of valor, awarded to the dead, never the living. Us uh, dire woodens, real dire woodens, we don't have nobility or birthrights, unless you're some copper fucker from the Aider. <laughs> Good grief. All we got is honor to bring to our family name. Ah, copper fucker. There's a new one. <laughs> sure is. So this, so this. He pauses, considering the weathered metal pale image of his former self, but still catching the light. Is something I'd live. Is something to live up to. All right. Now well, we got a decent chunk of XP, and we can now shop at the store. So might as well check out and see what they got. If not, I think we'll start some more upgrades for the key. Hello. Show me your wares. Oh, exceptional. We have exceptional weapons for any of the weapon classes we're using. Pole axe. Pole axe. Berserker's belt. Yeah, okay. So they. I guess there's only one kind of pole axe in this game. Um, what were you using? Let's see, you're using a wand, you're using a staff, you're using a gun. So we might have a better gun for him. Yeah, that's... okay. One more damage on the old one? Is that what I'm looking at here? Is the fine worse than the regular one? Oh, oh, fine is plus four accuracy and plus 15% damage. Okay, so this is better. Okay, okay. So. Do I even have enough money for this? Barely. This would pretty much wipe me out. I don't think that's really worth it. anything here worth it kind of doesn't look like it really all right well let's forget that and let's let's see what we can use our money on upgrades So sufficient building this allows you to upgrade the grounds further. Let's go with let's go with the uh, um, fortification first, and then we'll go to the bailey. Uh, probably actually towers first. Oh, uh, that just does perception bonus. Okay, so yeah, we'll probably go bailey first, and then that will open up other things. It appears. Oh, we probably want that barracks. We might want that next. Yeah, there's a lot of options there. Speaking of Cad Nua, that's probably where we need to go next. I 
I want to finish uh, searching all through Defiance Bay, but at the same time, we we want to um, now let's get to an exit and then we'll check the map out. Uh, looks like that one's closest. No, that's Goose and Fox. Uh, this one's probably the closest. But um, as I was saying, I do want to finish exploring Defiance Bay, but we're apparently we're supposed to have an important visitor there. So I would like to deal with that as well. What do we got? Andra's Gift and Fletched Hill left to explore in Defiance Bay, but for now let's go to Cade Nua. And see, let's see how, even how it looks. I mean, we've 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 definitely done some upgrades since the last Walls time we've been here. Before this place is secure. Yeah, we're working on that. Speak to the palace messenger. I don't know where he would be. Hopefully, in the palace itself. Quest added return to court as well. So I'm assuming the guy's suing for ownership of the of the castle now that we, you know, have started fixing it up. They're, they're suddenly interested in it. Are you considered the messenger? Oh, there you are. You're the messenger. Pardon the intrusion, my lord. Chancellor Warren urgently requests that you meet him at the Charred Barrel in Brackenberry. Um, why isn't he meeting me at the palace? Perhaps the Chancellor is meeting you with an unofficial capacity. It happens from time to time. Is this about Cadnua again? I don't know. My apologies, my lord. I'm merely a messenger. And... I'll meet with the Chancellor when I can. Messenger bows and leaves. Alright, so we got some more stuff going on. We did gain some XP for that, by the way. That seems to be... You get a little XP from fighting, but yeah, it definitely seems to mostly be completing quests is like the big the big thing Walls as need some work before as this place getting is secure. more powerful. Yeah, I hear you. My husband could fix them right up. So if I assign... How do I put companions in the stronghold? Oh, okay. So... I don't want to dismiss. From the party management screen, you can see allies, what they're up to if they aren't in the party. If you've assigned them to adventures, you can see how long it will take for them to complete their assignment. Recalling a companion or adventure from a mission before it's completed will forfeit any potential rewards for the assignment. Okay. So then... Farewell. Farewell. Okay, so if she leaves the party, then can I use her for this? Yes, okay, perfect. Let's do that then. Although that was probably a bad choice. She did have the dog, which helped as a tank. Once a character's been dismissed from the party, they will return either to the Black Hound and Gilded Vale or to your stronghold if you've acquired it. Okay, okay. So anyone I'm not using in my party, like, literally just hangs out at the castle. Or I put them on a mission. Okay. Interesting. Alright, so now we need to go back to the bar in Blackenberry. This place, I mean, we got a little bit of stuff fixed up, but we haven't done much. We've mostly been fixing up the fortifications so far. Um, I think we fixed up this place, right? And this is so we get like some kind of rust bonus or something. Or was this house just not in bad shape to begin with? Yeah, no, we didn't fix it. it was, that's just how it looked to begin with. Okay. Anyways, we'll camp real quick and then we'll head back to Blackenberry it's and then we can. Very nice. We're not sleeping here, are we? Oh, we most certainly are. But, uh, yeah, we'll head back to Black and Berry. We'll go to the Charred Barrel Bar. We'll 
progress that quest and then we'll start looking into the next section uh of the of uh defiance bay you awake to see durance his staff held with both hands before him flames flicker at the top of its end casting long shadows across his face as he stares in contemplation still for all the light of the fire your eyes can't focus on him perhaps it's awakening from sleep or trick of light but it seems indistinct blurred edges around everything except for the staff the staff he seems to be studying its engravings as you watch the engravings glow thinly red like through cracks of heat stuffed wood the lines seem to be molten metal burning along the edges of the staff then branch out into intricate series of fiery veins bunching thickly where his hands clutch the wood pulsing as if a heartbeat as you watch the veins spiral into a dozen, dozen separate circles, circles that spiral again until they are arranged in a circle of their own. They pulse weight and strangely silent and, and then suddenly there's a great light of fire rushing from the air, a great flash. You awaken again to see Durrance in the same place, still holding the staff, but it's solid real. He doesn't seem to have noticed you or reacted to what occurred. Interesting. Yeah, we got to discuss our vision. I thought I felt your eyes on me. Now come with words. Uh, I had questions. If doubts and curiosity plague you, you're skinning your knuckles on the wrong door. I saw something strange. You were sitting by a fire. I saw a great light come from your staff. Tell me what you saw. It, it was a flash like an explosion of rushing air, incredibly bright. It is the light of the God Hammer you saw. The God Hammer? It was a weapon of Deerwood's people. A symbol of their independence. It saved the Deerwood. And what uh, What do you know about this? Can we get this uh, hammer? It brought the Saints' War to an end. Knocked a god from his perch. There are few that would deny Aothis overstepped. The god hammer reminded Aothis of it. Okay. You saw its light because I helped shape it. Give it life and release it into the world. Once seen, its glory is almost too bright to be believed and too bright to be forgotten. You helped build the God Hammer. There were 12 of us. We fashioned the weapon, drafted plans for it, prayed for guidance at Ashfall, and it came to me there. Each of us were given a staff made from the forest of black trees around us, glowing with embers and fire far greater than this branch you see now. Interesting. It felt as if the staff was Margren's own finger, guiding my hand, guiding the other eleven, the shadows of the twelve who would come to stand on the bridge to stop Aethys. Okay. I saw a dozen bright circles emerging from your staff as well. Even in that stand, there was a ritual to it. For the twelve that stood on the bridge, there were a dozen shadows cast, a dozen faithful of Margrin, her fiercest supporters and shapers of the God Hammer. Huh? Durance rests the staff in front of him. The flame atop it curls for a moment and lightly flare and light and the light flaring slightly. It splits into a ring of flames one after another until a dozen is met. As twelve held Aethys fast, we twelve unleashed our prayers and let the God Hammer fall. And then it blossoms brightly once again, resumes its candle intensity. In the aftermath, the shadows seem sharper in the vicinity as if they have edges. And you blink to clear vision. Durance is still staring at the tiny candle flame and temper. Shadows cast by the fire of the God Hammer, perhaps. And we share their fate as well in time. Now the spine of the Deerwood is marked by the God Hammer. Marked by Margaret. Interesting. What do you mean by their shared fates? Not all deaths come with stilled breath and stilled heart. Or other stilled passions beneath the waste. Some deaths come from silence. The connection we once shared with Magran. After the light of the God Hammer, it was not the same. It was as if we'd lost our senses. And sense of purpose as well. 
Instead of victory being welcomed, there was silence within and without. Interesting. Not many can claim to have killed a god. It is less a heroic tale than you would think. And such a death, it changed our faith. All faiths, I expect. Doubt followed, and the world changed. I do not believe Margren was pleased by what we had done. Okay. And why is that? The world is broken. The wheel stilled. There is sickness in the world's heart. Perhaps the price of crossing a god. I can see that. Crossing two gods. Even as Margren shaped our hands, perhaps we carried her will farther than was allowed. Just as Widewind did. Saint Widewind. Mortal arrogance to match mortal arrogance. Yet if the world had changed, then I sought to change with it. If I had forgotten some of Margren's teachings, I would find them again. I would make her see me again. So what did you do? I remembered Margren's teachings. How reminders on the flesh were more important than the death of a vessel. And I wondered if killing Aethys, if that had simply set him free, had it allowed him to escape his punishment and be taken on the wheel like a mortal? As I stepped from the now blessed God Hammer Bridge, I thought of Ashfall. I thought of the War of Black Trees, wondered if I needed to be burned to find myself again. That is Margaret at her heart. At least that is my hope. These are the doubts that befall me. And what happened when you returned from the Ashfall? The road to Ashfall is long. Gives one time to think. And if you think long enough, you do not go home. Oh. I left without telling anyone, with only the robes I wore at Halgot, my staff, and my name, which is long buried. Uh, you told me your name. I wouldn't say your name's buried. Of my fellow eleven craftsmen, disciples i know not what happened to them if they suffered the same doubt as i did but it was underserved it was wrong we had done all that or had asked grab victory from defeat and and so did you feel as you'd betrayed your god there is something about being used and cast aside Perhaps Widewen himself felt it. There at the end, when the hammer struck. To be the proof that your god is hollow as the vessel it inhabits. Ooh. I tried to find purpose. And avoided all contact with other Magranic priests. Did not seek the walls of Ashfall. And sought to make amends to my god through actions. I joined with the purges for a time. And not long after came the first signs of the Hollowborn. Oh, no. So many crimes, trespasses, violations. The salvation. Animancers were another sickness born of the Saints' War. A relapse of innovation, of desperation to heal what we had caused. All seemed worse than before the bridge, not better. And as years passed, the world became even worse still for the victory. Now I see why you call your goddess a whore. She's, j she's jilted you and you still pine for her. Sweat collects in sooty creases of his forehead and run down his ruddy cheeks. It drips from the tip to his nose. His mouth moves but, utter but utterances to make a sound. Uh, he is... For once at a loss. Feeling your gaze, he quickly composed himself, wiping his forehead back with a dirty hand. Hmm? Worship the whims of some fickle bitch, and you'll never be more than <laughs> dirt beneath her feet. Worship what she worships, on the other hand. Take her fire for your own, and her esteem comes on its own. 
Of course, by that time, you no longer need it. Trial and transformation. Sure as Durance taught. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Durance glares at you, staring into his eyes. Gives you the feeling of peering over the edge of the great cliff. You think to put the coals to my feet, but what's burned once will never burn again. These talks are your trial, Watcher. You cannot deflect the truth to one who has already been purified by it. Fair enough, man. Let's. Uh, so what happened on the bridge then? We choose the bridge because we could control it. It was a place where we could choke the Athens on our, in his own footsteps. We knew where his feet would fall, a narrow neck of stone. But it was more than that. It was the spine of direwood, a symbolic of its backbone. Such symbols are important in the construction of a weapon, any weapon. I suspect Ethos knew, knew that as well, and so did his vessel in its arrogance. He intended to walk upon the bridge as if falling on the backs of Direwood, and, in, and we intended to burn him with the light of our faith, and his twelve on the bridge, twelve in the shadow, gave ourselves into it. And gave yourselves into we put it. put much of ourselves into the God Hammer. Such a device is not simply a machine. There are elements of the spirit in it, even wide wind spirit. Elements of spirit. Each of the twelve who brought the god hammer forth would have done anything to save the deerwood, save its people. It is why we were chosen. Each of us, each of us hated this pretender. That rage, that spirit, that rebellion went into our work and went into studying him as well. Widewin, why? We all studied Widewin. He was our enemy, and he had provided the flesh the god wore as a cloak. That flesh mm. made him vulnerable. I knew what fields his hands had tilled, his family, what he had harvested, where he had been born. We sought to know him, what had led him to fight us. Interesting. You don't kill the god. You kill the man it inhabits, and you leave that man a ruin. Burn him to ash. The weapon was meant to not only burn his flesh, but it would burn his soul. And it did, at the cost of our own, and at the cost of our goddess's favor. That whore be damned. So is that why your image was blurred in the dream? Perhaps your eyes were blinded by the God Hammer's light, Watcher. I may feel half a man at times, but even that's twice that of most others. If you fear for my spirit, your fears are baseless. The God Hammer, seeing its light, only fueled my anger and made me stronger. Made me re-examine the teachings of Margrin. Put them in a new light. Gotcha. It looked as if there was only part of you, as if your spirit had been sheared in half. I do not need you to cast any more questions on me, Watcher. Nor did I ask you to look upon me without my leave. Get gone, and leave me be. Interesting. Hmm? Well, I wanted to yeah. ask more questions about the God Hammer, but I guess that's not an option anymore. Anyways, back on our mission... We do need to handle the Cadnua um, issue to ensure that uh, we actually own this place that we're spending this money and fixing up. Yeah, she's on. She's on a mission, right? Yeah, so we'll just leave her be, and then we do need to head to Brackenberry's. Uh, what is that bar? The Charred Barrel. Charred Barrel. That's where we need to go. And we will go there next time. Thank you guys so very much for watching. And have a good one.